Here in Arizona, the problem for an ant is not too much water, but too little. The rainfall is so low that there's hardly any vegetation and very little to eat. So an ant has to be prepared to eat whatever it can find. There are seeds, but seeds are very tough and you need very powerful jaws to crack them. But then that's exactly what these harvest ants have got. They make an intensive search of the sand. Almost any seed will be collected. Food around here is very scarce. They can't afford to be fussy. They carry their gleanings back to the nest to store it in larders, many of which are several meters below ground. But like the mangrove ants, they must work fast. The desert warms quickly and before long the heat will be intolerable. By nightfall, the harvesters are back inside the nest. But there's still a lot going on out in the desert. There's another ant here too, the night ant. This is one of their nests in front of me. They normally only come out after dark, and they're generalists, they'll eat pretty well anything. But they have a particular taste for seeds. The trouble is that the harvest ants will have gathered all the seeds during the day, unless the night ants can do something about it. Just after dark, the night ants start a major spoiling operation against their rivals. They start to shift stones and fragments of plants to block up some holes near their nest. By morning, it's clear what they've done. They've trapped the harvesters inside their own nests. Harvesters now have a lot of work to do before they can get out to collect more seeds. They clear away the rubble as quickly as they can. But this takes time. If they're seriously delayed, the day will be too hot for them to spend time out in the open. So today, they can't collect as much as they normally do. And that means that by nightfall, there will still be seeds on the ground for the night ants to collect.